Okay, so let's start with conciliation. Tell us a little bit more about conciliation, please. Conciliation often looks like mediation, uh, at least at the outset. And very often people confuse mediation and conciliation and use the words interchangeably. But they are different processes. Essentially what is different is the role of the third party. Uh, and the role of the, of the conciliator is a more directive role um, than the role of your classic mediator. Um, you'll usually find conciliation within statutory schemes. Um, so by that I mean, for example, conciliation has a long history in workplace disputes or labour law disputes, as they used to be called. You'll also find conciliation used in very often in tribunals where you're dealing with health issues or discrimination issues, um, uh, to, to name a few, or even consumer issues. Um, and the thinking is the conciliator needs to, first of all, conciliator is specialised in, in, in a particular field, yeah. like labour law. And the conciliator also has more responsibility for the outcome than your classic mediator. Why? Because often in these areas, employment law, discrimination, human rights, health issues, consumer matters, often there is a likely imbalance of power. Right? And so the thinking is that conciliation might be more useful than mediation because, yes, you can still bring parties together, they can still talk with one another, they can still try and sort out a dispute um, that meets their needs, but ch a check and balance is offered by the conciliator that's not, that can't be offered or isn't offered by a mediator. So in some statutory schemes, a conciliator is not only able to give legal advice mm. uh, but can also make suggestions about what he or she thinks would be a suitable outcome um, for the parties. But in some schemes also, the, uh, the conciliator has a duty to make sure that the parties um, agree to something that falls within the parameters of the legislation, right? So they can't agree to something that in the conciliator's view, for example, would compromise the rights of one party too much. Okay. Yeah? 